I've got a mom who's 75 years old. She's having all the underlying diseases, including myself. So that anxiousness that I'm not vaccinated, I might die. I'm a TB survivor as well, and I was panicking most of the time. The elderly have a lot of comorbidities and health issues, so for elderly people to get the vaccine makes a lot of sense because you look in countries where most of the population is elderly and they've had incredibly high death rates. The important question of can you vaccinate people with other medical conditions is a critical one because we know those individuals have the worst outcomes if they get infected with SARS-CoV-2. We know that this vaccine, certainly both Pfizer and J&J, are safe in elderly people. I can particularly talk to the J&J vaccine because I know that we enrolled elderly people in the trial and people with other conditions. So the vast majority of South Africans enrolled in the J&J study were over the age of 55. Many were quite elderly. I think we had one that was well into their 80s. There were some frontline workers that do have other comorbidities that are about 40, about 50, and they've been fine after taking the vaccine and there hasn't been any major side effects in their cases. We really wanted people who had other conditions, hypertension, diabetes, living with HIV. Very important in this country to know that we can vaccinate people who live with HIV. So we not only know that it's safe in those individuals, but we also know that it works. Uh, and so that's important. It is safe for people with other diseases, comorbidities. Their immune system is going to be boosted up so that they don't suffer most too much. And those people that are really anxious at the moment, it would give them a little bit of confidence to get out. That they can also feel safe, that they, they, they're part of the community. 